Are you ready for the story tonight? But first, brush your teeth. What if everything was as simple as dreaming? Dreaming, imagining as possible something that is not expected or very difficult to shift. An owl counting stars, flying mice, and foxes that sing to make the moon rise. Let your sleep come to you. Let your imagination run wild, and maybe this way you will be a child again. You might think this is a normal roof, right? Well, no. This roof is magical. Every night, when I'm about to go to bed, I hear boys telling me a story. Sometimes they come to see me some slimy frocks. Other times a panther cap that wants to be yellow, like the sun. From time to time an owl that loves to eat chase. And if not, a few mice that want to learn to fly. From time to time I get to see a turtle hiding its eggs under the sun to protect them from the hunters. And if not, a fox that has no idea of singing. And if it's very dark and I feel alone, it comes a firefly that stays with me until I fall asleep. Do you want to know what they tell me? Now I tell you. The Sleepy Little Mouse A long, long time ago, in a very dark cave, there were very sleepy forest mice. They slept in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening, and when the night came, they didn't sleep. Their worried mates told them, you must be awake during the day or the cat will come and eat you. And so it was that one day, during the daylight, the cat ate one of the mice. You have to be awake all day or the cat will come back. And so it was that the next day, the cat ate another of the mice. A few weeks later, the cat had eaten all the mice except one. The remaining mouse was very afraid of the cat, but did not want to stop sleeping. So he began to look for solutions. I have to find a place where I can sleep peacefully all day, he said. After trying to find a solution, he went to see the cricket. The cricket, who was jumping through the cave all night, told him that the best place to sleep was on the roof, because the cat would not jump so high. But how do I get to the roof? The mouse asked. I will help you to get some wings. And that's how, with the help of the cricket, the sleeping mouse was able to fly to the roof. And from that day on, he slept upside down, so that he could sleep peacefully all morning, all afternoon and all night. At night, of course, he goes out to play with the cricket. And now are his companions who fall asleep during the day. Not because they've lost their fear of the cat, because the mouse and the cricket keep dancing until the sun rises. And because of the sleepy little mouse, some mice can fly, but cats still can't. Here is a turtle, here is the firefly, it's time to say goodbye. Here is the panther, here is the moon. This story 
will sleep soon.